How's it going guys? Uh, Stu Webb here from Alphonse Fishing Company. Um, back at the vice again today, I'm gonna be tying like a red-headed style GT fly. A cool fly to get a reaction kind of in the surf on the flat to get started. I'm gonna be tying on a Mustad 5 tarpon and I'm gonna be using some Ultra Thread. It's a 210 denier. Some Explorer strung rooster saddle for the tail. Inside of that, a bit of sculpting fiber just to stop it from wrapping. And then working forward, a bit of marabou, and then a bit of fox over the over the nose for the red to to finish off the fly. So I usually stop just before the thread starts touching the point of the hook, um, and then I'm going to be using some sculpting fiber. Just going to tie in a little bit of that inside the tail, so it's inside the the schlappen and then putting a little bit of solar res on to stiffen it up and that just stops, stops those tail feathers from wrapping around the hook. And then you can just trim off a bit of the excess in front. It's fine if you don't take all of it off because obviously you're going to be tying over it but you don't want too much bulk. Okay, and then just wrap the thread over that. Doesn't need to be super neat as long as all the fibers are kind of hidden. Got your bit of your tail there so now I'm going to get some so there is, and this is thick hard to kind of just stiffen up the first part of it. And what I like to do is just get a decent dollop in there and use your bodkin or your pin or whatever you have and just comb it through that first section so it looks decent. Just chuck a little bit of light on there to finish it off. Okay, so it's decent, so it's quite stiff for about half of the material. You can see where it falls there. So the next step is to place your feathers. So I've got four feathers that I've, um, I've gotten ready beforehand. Just kind of space them out equally around the shank of the hook. So two bottom sides and two top sides. Second one there, try and butt up the points of the feather. Just wrap that down nice and tight. I'm gonna chuck in a little bit of flash, a little bit of crystal flash, like maybe two strands down each side. Place the middle on one side. And tie it in so it's in place. Just wrap it once or twice with your thread. Turn the flash over to the other side. Make sure it's kind of about middle. It's basically just acting as kind of a lateral line. Get a nice point. Bring your material forward and get your thread out of the way. And then you can slowly tease the fibers so they're all Nice and equally spaced, and just kind of palmer that in around the shank of the hook. Nice, equal wraps until until the stalk of the marabou gets a bit too thick. You'll feel it; it gets it wants to jump. So, but I'm going to cut it there. Just cut it and leave like a little bit of a stalk. So you can bring your thread in and your thread grabs, grabs that stalk nicely to tie it down. Just wrap over the point of the stalk there and just cinch that down nicely. Got all that extra marabou there that you can use but it's got a thick stalk so just go in with your crocodile clip. Get it nice and equally spaced and then trim off, leaving a little bit of fiber to work with. So when you tie your dubbing loop, you have something, you have a tip to put into it. So that's how it's gonna look. Now, just gonna tie a quick dubbing loop. Okay, so hold it with your thumb, bring it up to the shank, go around twice, and just turn it and lock it. It's locked off nicely and just 
support your thread there, get your dubbing spinner. So now you can see you've got a nice loop and with your crocodile clip, clip already prepared with these extra fibers, just slide it in and pinch down on the thread. Just as you hold the thread, just slowly start spinning the thread so it stays together. And you can see as it, as you start spinning, it will wrap up. You can spin it nicely and just pick out, pick out those fibers. And then straight off the, the dubbing spinner, just wrap it in exactly the same way you would palm it in a feather. Just tease it back as you're wrapping forward. Okay, and as you finish off with the fibers, you can bring your thread back in and just tie off your dubbing loop. All right, and that's going nowhere. Obviously, depending on how close you are coming to the eye of the hook, you can put some more marabou in. Um, I'm gonna finish off this feather and use this last little little bit of marabou. All right, now I'm pretty close to the eye of the hook, so I wanna get this nice and neat before I come in with the fox. And then again, those last couple of loops of marabou that you put in, you can just pick them out, get all those trapped fibers out. So lastly, I'm gonna use a bit of fox to come over the, over the nose of the fly. So you have a nice healthy chunk there. And pinch it nice and tight and just pluck out those smaller little bits of excess. Get that nice and tight again and just, it's nice to have a nice straight edge to tie in on. So get that flush. Now you're gonna back tie it. It's gonna be tricky, you don't have a lot of room to work with here, but just kind of butt it up and do a gentle kind of loose tie just to see to see where your fibers are, because obviously you want them equally wrapped around the hook. And once you're happy with your spacing, you can just do two or three nice tight turns. And then start splitting it through the eye of the hook and dressing it backwards. Now you're gonna have to find find a gap to get your thread through. You're not going to tie on top of the fiber, you're going to build up thread ahead of it to push the fiber back so it still flares nicely. A couple more wraps. And then just finish off the head of the fly. Cut your thread nice and short. Almost ready to glue to glue the head of the fly. But again, what you can do is just come through with your bodkin or your pin and that will blend those materials. I'm gonna go with a bit of solar rays, a little dollop there. Use your pin to just nice and neatly cover your thread. Okay, once you're happy with the placement of your solar rays, you can just hit it with the UV torch. Get it dry. Run the pin through it, your bodkin. When it's in the water, because there's so much movement in this material, it's gonna it's gonna pulse nicely, and those colours will blend almost like a a bit of blood over the head of the, the bait fish. Like I was saying, be creative. Um, you can blend any sort of colours you want to, um, and then come and test them out.